Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Don here once more. And uh, it's this is another one of those requests for in the comments section from time to time, people ask me to make a specific magic trick. And this is called the Legacy Box. And I must thank the person that asked me to do it because I had no idea about the Legacy Box. And, uh, and until they or whoever he or she asked for it, um, I, I wouldn't have had any uh, idea about it. So I looked it up and found out what to do and how it works. And uh, this is the product. Okay, so we've got um, a long box. And inside the box, we have another box. And uh, that box is divided into four different colors. Uh, so what you do, you give that, you give this box to your audience. Uh, while I, me, uh, uh, am, bli <laughs> am blindfolded. Is blindfolded? Is or are? Uh, so I will turn my back or I'll blindfold or just close my eyes and uh, I will not know what colour is uppermost in the box. Okay, now you're going to have to believe me that I've got my eyes closed. Okay. Really, you must believe me. So, oh yeah, there's the long box and I'll turn it around a bit. My eyes still closed. And we'll put that in the box and put the lid on. Okay, now the audience can see that it is impossible to see inside the box. You can't possibly know what colour is uppermost now in the box. So all I have to do is uh, summon the uh, forces, the uh, black magic forces, and I can I can feel the forces coming through, and I would say that that colour is red, and so it is. Okay, so uh, I can choose, or I can uh, I can get well, not guess. I will know whatever colour your audience leaves on the top be it yellow black blue or uh, red uh, so that will be the trick and uh, you can it's a 100 percent um, certainty that you will guess the right color okay so that's the demonstration we'll get on with the video then and i'll show you how to make it what to do how it works everything you need to know about it okay so let's get on with the video Okay, so we're going to need a piece of thin card. I'm using one millimeter thick. So anything, any kind of packaging really um, will do. Christmas card, birthday card, that type of thing. Um, and I've cut it to 24 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide, uh, which is nine and a half inches that way and four inches that way. Okay, so on the long side, uh, divide it into four. So that's going to be one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, 25 mil, 25 mil, 25 mil, 25 mil. And then do the same on the end. One inch, 25 mil, and the same that end. And we're going to cut away that square there and cut away that oblong there. And the same this side. And then score very lightly with a sharp craft knife just lightly score along these lines and that remaining line there and then we're going to be able to fold those round to make it into a, a square tube is that right that would be generally the type of shape that it will be okay and before you actually fold it around We'll need four of these little tiny magnets. Now they, they don't need to be big or st very strong magnets. We, we don't want we don't want the magnets to actually magnetize. All we want is when we part let me show you. <laughs> when we pass over another magnet which will be under some thicker card like that. When we pass it over, we just want to feel, feel, 
uh, and it's it's magnetizing there and it's going to move the magnets but we, we, we don't want it to be terribly strong all we all we want is just to pass it over so we can feel that there's a magnet there or there is a magnet there or one there or one there so as long as we know which way round it's facing the, that way as as we when this is folded around as we pass over a magnet under here we can feel it so if we feel a magnet there we'll know what color the, the top part is but we'll get we'll get I'm getting a bit ahead of myself we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so I'll cut this out do all the scoring and then uh, glue these little magnets in that position okay I'll do that first and be back in one moment okay so I cut out those cutouts and then scored well scored along these lines so that I can fold them around and that will make a, a long box like that and then uh, using hot melt glue I just fixed these small magnets at various intervals okay so and you can see I've uh, colored the four sides so um, your audience then can choose whichever color they prefer to put in the box and for the box themselves I'm using two millimeter cardboard and uh, well a box four sides to a box so I shall glue these all together put two ends on and then make a lid for it uh, that, that will sit over the top so that you put that in the box put the lid on the box and there's no way of knowing what uh, color is on top okay so I'll do that I'll make up this make well glue this together make up the box put the make a top to put on it uh, and then come back and see how we go from there. So I finished off the long box, glued all that together and stuck the ends down. And now we've got the four colours that uh, your audience can choose from. Uh, then we've got the long box that this fits into. Uh, very easy um, two millimetre cardboard box for that to go in. And then a lid on top of that and a bit of pretty paper on the top. So you you can show the audience the box and see that there is no once the lid on there is no way that you can see what color is on the top uh, in the box there so all you have to do then is uh, once you've been presented with the box with the lid on you've opened your eyes now um, with and I found this is the easiest way to do it with a little bit of double-sided tape and with the other magnet just uh, concealed on your finger like that all you have to do is pick the box up and feel along and I can feel the magnet attracting to that end and then you will have written this down and committed to memory uh, but I've still got it written down uh, the first uh, magnet will be yellow second black third red fourth blue so because my magnet is attracted down this end I know that it's yellow okay so if it were red for instance put that on I can just feel along the bottom and I can feel the third so first second third fourth I can feel the third magnet attached attracting there so I know that that is red and uh, it's a full pr full proof method of choosing the color that your audience has decided upon okay so that, that's it I hope that's explained it uh, so we'll just try the black um, where should the black be it should be the second one so if I just rub my finger along the bottom and I can feel the uh, magnet attracting there so that's the one two second uh, magnet along I know that that's black okay easy right as long all you have to do is conceal the uh, magnet on your finger and that's easy enough to do even I can do that <laughs> okay so there we are I think that's a, a 
decent little trick to do. Uh, thank you for the person that asked me to do it. Um, it was um, a good idea, uh, a very good little trick. So uh, I hope it's uh, what you wanted and uh, you have a go at making it for yourself now. Okay, so again, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you don't mind and uh, click the like button. And if you click the all button, you will be informed when new videos come along. Um, I've also instigated the thanks button. Uh, so if you wanted to support the channel in a monetary fashion, then please, uh, by all means, but um, don't have to. <laughs> okay, so again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And it's bye for now.